This is Rhiannon Moore at Berry Head, the day of the dig where all of the children from Brixham CV Primary School has come to help out with the dig, looking for Victorian pottery and learning about Priscilla Shrives. And I, I think they're having a really nice day. I'm now actually at the dig site. All of the children have, have started digging. We've had some of the time at the Guardhouse Cafe learning about the contrast between Victorian times and now. So it's, it's going really well. So could you tell me what's in your bucket, please? I've got a little spade and a knee pad. Right, and what are you about to start doing? Digging for artefacts. I'm Will, and you're about to hear the sound of some children excitedly digging away on Berry Head with me. Berry Head is super fun, because we are in the sun. What's uh, this? Um, <laughs> it's a creepy dinosaur tooth! Don't ever try to do it. Ew, dirty! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking your gloves off? Yeah, I don't like them. Oh, oh, oh. Oops, steady on. Steady on. Sorry, I'm sideways, chipping it out. What's this? Dan, I think we need a Dr. Armitage to come and have a word. It won't break. It's probably a piece of bark. It could be. Or it's a massive root. A root. Well, well don't try to root the root. <laughs> it, might it might be hiding something, so clear around it. It looks like a piece of pottery, I think. Look, Toronto, where is it? I'll go and get Dr. Oh, there it is, look. Guys, this is We've got it. I don't think this one's a stone because it's white. Everybody close your eyes, close your eyes. I've got the end, I've found the end. Hold on, let me just do it. Hold on We've got something. We found something white. I think it's a flint. Have you found the end? We found a flint. Where is it? What's a flint? It's a flint. That's a flint. Okay, so now I'm talking to Liz Wilkins, one of the volunteers for Brixham Museum, and she's going to explain a little about the actual site that we're on. Could you explain what's going on today? Well, today the children are just digging on part of the actual site. We started digging here because there were some Victorian cottages here. So we find things here from the Victorian period, a lot of pottery and some, uh, quite a lot of artefacts. But we also find a lot of prehistoric flints here from the Mesolithic and the Neolithic. We also find things from the Napoleonic fort because this was where the overseer of the fort lived when, when they were building the fort. So we find stuff from prehistoric times we find things from the building of the fort times that's late 1700s we find victorian pottery and artifacts and we also find world war ii things because there was a world war ii uh, gun up here okay. and so it's amazing it's a whole fantastic yeah. period of time that we're we're digging here This is Di explaining to one of the children how they can be more efficient when digging in the dig site. Now what you want to do now is scrape around it carefully, don't dig, just spray carefully, right back, and then if it, you'll get to that level. That's it. Keep this, that's right. Just keep your eyes skimmed all the time. Good. Yep, hard right here. Then just keep scraping. Well, you tell me what you think. Stone? I think it is, I'm afraid to say it is. But it's worth looking at everything because you just never know. Yeah, it's mud. Sure? Just really hard mud. Yep. Okay, now like, scrape all that back now, nice. No, it's not stone. Okay, well, just keep coming back like that. <laughs> So now we've got Kelsey along with Dr Armitage talking to the children whilst digging about what they're going to find. How long ago, like, how long ago was... We've got maps of that time, so 150 years ago we've got maps of where the cottages were. I found a diamond! I don't think so, no. <laughs> Wishful thing. What's he found? We're in now. And that could be What's a bit of pottery. Good? Very small finds we put in a little bag. That is a bit of pot. Oh, you can turn it over. Look at that. Wow, that's a beautiful bit. I found a bit of pottery! 
Now we've got Liz Wilkins explaining to one of the children about the flints found on Berryhead. Excuse me, what's this? When you chip flint off a core, if you're using a hard hammer, which they did um, at the end of the Mesolithic, you get what's like a bulb of percussion, it's called. You get that bulb there, and later, further down you get rings. Which is, which is formed by when you hit it, you know, with a, with a rock. And so you can always recognise them. That's a broken flint. That would have been a blade. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, we found something, like, really big. But we can't dig it out because of all the roots. I think that's just a stone, I'm afraid. Just a stone. There's a flint there. Oh, there's a flint. You found a flint? Wow. I found a flint. Oh, did they think where you found that? You can that? see the bug question. Where did it come from? It came from down there. It came from down there. So that is probably 5,000 years old. Yes. Mm. I think that would be that would be a, a Mesolithic one with, with the bulb of the cushions. So I mean, it's a bit older than that, probably. 8,000 maybe? Yeah, yeah, eight, well, eight, we'll say 8 to 5, <laughs> so yeah, we can cover both. 8,000 years old, say. <laughs> so. This is an academic <laughs> argument. Yeah. Shall we um, put it in a... Yeah, oh, you've got a bag of things. That's nice. One of the girls is showing her findings. I was digging um, around and I found a cow tooth from the back of this jaw. Can you tell us a bit about it? So how does it look? It looks a bit weird. It doesn't really look like a tooth. If you turn it around one way, it looks like a big old tooth. So do you know why this was here? Probably from the kitchen. If they've got a cow. I caught up with some of the kids and asked for their thoughts on the day. How are you finding the digging? Fun. Have, yeah. you, have you found anything interesting? I've got a slate from the roof of the cottage. Do you think that sort of digging around here makes it makes the history seem more real? Yeah. Would you recommend coming out digging to your friends and things? Yeah. How how was your guys day? Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah. It was really I'm fun. And mucky. What? Exciting. Exciting. What was the best thing about your day? Archaeological dig. Archaeological dig. I love dig. Would you do this again? Yes. Yeah? And have you learned anything about history today? Yeah. And do you want to carry on learning about history? Yeah. yeah. Cool. I want to go on another archaeological dig. You want to do it again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what cool. have you learned today? The, um, a funny thing that looked like a bone is actually a cow's tooth. You found the cow's tooth, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. I didn't know that there was a cottage there. Little souvenir, what I'm taking home. You're taking that home? Do you remember? That'll be your part of history, won't it? We love history! <laughs> <laughs>